Sweden's Axel Andersson can lock up the driver's title today. He leads it by 77 over Canada's Claire Aussier. Andersson will uh, lead the points into the final race regardless. Mariano Zavala of Venezuela took out the Delano Bowl Award, his second of the year. That Enterline Motorsports car number 45. Uh, he's had quite a bit of luck in qualifying on some of these longer road courses. He gets a pretty good start. On the outside of the front row, that 23 is Joe Olenek. Here comes Buffy Boreanaz, and that was not a that was not going to work. As uh, Zavala looks like he's going to pull away, and Olenek, car 23, slides into second. Uh, Joe Olenek in car number 23, the C2. Whoa, that's a terrible start. Uh, Steve Holiday Jr. in the 88 did not go on the start. I'm surprised that didn't cause a big stack up. Brooke Ingerson started last in the 61. Oh, got into the back of Archer Harris. That's Calvin O'Reilly in the 67. And Matt Brinson off into the kitty litter. And that has been the epitome of Ingerson's entire Team Lights career. Uh, as uh, her day not going off very well. As you notice, uh, the, it, the rain is beginning to come down. It was raining this morning, and all the teams started the race on the rain tires. As we're looking at Axel Anderson in car number four, the 71 is Han Young Sung, the Korean. Uh, Anderson could be locking up the title today. He has a oh 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 boy, we got a big stack up here. The seven is Robert Blake. The 08 is um, Ike Durbin. The 18 Pushanda. As oh, we got more problems down here. Loro, Mike Andrews, and uh, that's the 12 car. That is Ashley Tucker. And uh, that's not uh, the best way to start your day here, as we got more of a stack up. James Jones, Takumi Nagata, the 15 is Jacob Card, gets into Friedrich Jaeger. Card brings the car to a stop, nearly. Uh, we got a couple big stack ups down there in turn 12. And we're now looking at Joe Lennick in car number 23 in the CTR, Lennard. He's going to be driving for Team Star USA next year in the Master Cup Series. Whoa, he doesn't quite have the most experience as Joe Lennick. But what he does, but what he lacks there in experience, he, uh, he makes up for in determination. He was running in quite a few different series so far this season. And he hasn't really fared that terribly well in any of them, but he's been trying to adapt to many different cars all at once, and I think that's the quality that Team Star USA looked for, and that's why they picked him up. And uh, Joe Lennick uh, in that 23 car will drive that number in the Master Cup next year as uh, the Venezuelan Mariano Zavala begins to pull away. I don't think I need to mention where Zavala's backing comes from, and he might land a Master Cup ride as well as Brandon LaRoe hits the 33 car after receiving all that damage on lap one. The, uh, the Brandon's chair repair car, a bit of damage there as they pulled the front end off the 33 car. He entered this race third in the championship. Oh, whoa, whoa! Into the wall goes Brandon LaRoe, and I think that car is undrivable, and I think he's going to pull that one off quick because uh, his championship hopes are done. Very unfortunate for him. He might be going Master Cup racing as well because he's got quite a bit of talent and he has uh, doesn't have the most money behind him, but I think he has enough to get himself a full-time ride. As Anderson battles with Gerald Johnson and one of the Gesslers. Johnson's going to go by. Anderson's not really going to put up much of a fight here. All he has to do is uh, maintain his points lead. His nearest challenger, Claire Aussie, in the 11 car, having a terrible start. Here is Han Young Chung in the uh, 71, as that is Dexter Ham. Oh, Bobby Dollar pokes his nose in there in the 98 car. But uh, this Gravity Racing team having a pretty good run so far with uh, the young Korean. Uh, they may go if uh, Gravity Racing, uh, if Gravity Racing's Master Cup effort uh, actually goes somewhere. I wonder if they might consider bringing him along for the ride because he's done. He's had a fantastic season. He's going on the inside of Costas Theodorakis, and we got a car off in the sand trap. And that's not going to do them any good, whoever that is. Oh, Buffy Boreanaz. Oh, no! That's Brooke Ingerson. Ingerson, who's a couple laps down, just punted. Oh, no! Boreanaz playing, uh, playing in the sandbox over there because Brooke Ingerson shoved her in. Uh, Brooke Ingerson, who's uh, TM Light's career, not going very well. As Leah Cerrone, another driver whose uh, TM Light's career has gone, uh, gone terribly. Uh, Leah Cerrone, who's uh, had a disastrous first half of the year, and her season not ending very well either, as uh, looking like most of the field's pitting. Archer Harris, the 79, pitted early. Car number four, Axel Anderson. Looks like he could be on his way to a very easy, uh, a very easy way to lock up his first team lights title. As we're now looking at Mariano Zavala leaving the pits in car number 45. Dandelion Motorsports driver, not really having too many difficulties so far. Everything seems to be going uh, quite smoothly for him uh, in his Bolden. There he is going by. 
He's had a couple runs in the Arla series. As here is the number four car, Andershun. That's the 31 of Eicholtz that he's uh, racing for position with. Another guy we might be seeing going into the Master Cup series. And here's another team that's been running in the Master Cup series, but they're an independence trophy team. The 426 Motorsports team with, with Yefeliani Mia at the wheel. And that is Joel Rodriguez, former Master Cup driver, and he's a rookie in this series. Rodriguez will not be returning to that 40 car. The Terra International Motorsports entry. What's Jim Davidson looking at? Car 29. Oh, that was a bit ambitious. Got into the back of the 88 of Steve Holliday Jr. Looped it around. Davidson not had the best season here in the TM Light series. He's actually impressed. He impressed quite a bit in his Master Cup outings. Uh, more due to his pace. He hasn't had a whole lot of luck. In oh, no! Speaking of drivers without a lot of luck, the 45 car is in trouble. Mariano Zavala. Looks like we got a problem with that car, and he's going to go out of the race. It's going to put Gerald Johnson in the lead. There goes Johnson in car 38, and it's going to elevate Olenek to second. And Andersen is going to have third, but there goes Eicholtz by in car number 31. But it looks like that the four car is fighting back. In the background, you can see Daniel Melrose is moving his way through the field in car number 73. As though the 31 peels off, so Melrose is going to move up to fourth. Eicholtz uh, hits the 31 car just a little bit early, it looks like. Here's Gerald Johnson. Um, some people may not really have noticed he's even in the field this year because he's had a very anonymous season. Uh, the Unit 11 Motorsports Gessler is one of only five Gesslers in the field, and today uh, he is the strongest of them. Usually Unit 11 Motorsports sort of put in the shade a little bit by uh, the Lynx women's team, the other Gessler squad, as we've got the 15 car of Jacob Card in trouble. Uh, Jacob Card, I think his future more or less secure with that win he had at the Master Cup race down in Queensland. But uh, his race today is ending very early. James Jones in car number one driving the number one car because Troy Adams won the championship with this same team last year. Jones, I think, could be. I uh, well, uh, think he'll have a much better season next year if he if he returns. But he's had a solid year so far, but. Uh, not quite championship, uh, not quite a title run. As we've got another round of pit stops here, the second round of pit stops is Johnson leaves the pit lane with his lead relatively intact. Car number 38 having a uh, relatively trouble-free day. Uh, the TM Light's rain tires uh, actually working quite well. A lot of teams expected uh, it to rain for the race, so most everyone uh, looks like they nailed the setup just fine. Axel Andersen looks like he's, uh, he's setting himself up for a podium run. He doesn't need anywhere close to a podium in order to get, uh, in order to lock up the championship because Aussier has made no progress at all through the field and he pits the four car as he did stay out to lead um, an extra lap. Doesn't really gonna, it's not really going to do him any good to stay out leading an extra lap. Johnson pits the 38 car a little bit early, so I wonder if there's a problem with Gerald Johnson, but uh, looks like their team is ready for him, so I guess this is routine. This is a three-stop race. TM Lights cars not known for having the largest fuel cells in all of motorsports, let's be honest. And here is the 87 of Darren Cardell, who is throwing caution to the wind, and he's put the Melrose Racing Team car out in front. He is second to last in the Drivers' Championship, but he also has a win at the Master Cup race at uh, Ohio. So I think Darren Cardell's year can more or less be labeled a success. He's had plenty of speed. Um, just the concept of luck is foreign to him. Uh, and just about everywhere except uh, that Master Cup race at Ohio. Here is uh, Casas Theodorakis in car number three. Uh, you want to talk about someone who hasn't had a lucky year. He leads the TM Light Series with uh, uh, for DNFs by quite a large margin, so he, he could use a solid run. Here's Daniel Melrose in the 73 car having a solid run inside the top ten. Uh, the mad Uncle Melrose. He's bringing his own team into the Master Cup Series next year with Vernstrom. Uh, we suspect he will be one of the drivers. As, oh, oh, he gets into the back of Animia, and that's going to damage the front end of the 73 car. That's, oh, that, could, that looks like that could be quite a bit of damage to the front end of that car. So Melrose, right into the back of Animia. He's going to have to pit that car, and I think that might have spelled the end for his race, unfortunately. As here comes the uh, the 38 car of Gerald Johnson, and again, now, um, Gerald Johnson, I think they, yeah, they're expe pit crew's expecting him. This is that's a fuel-only stop. We got a terrible stop for Joe Olenek in the 23 car, but such is the gap that he had over Andershen. It looks like he doesn't look like he's going to lose a whole lot of ground. Splash and go for the 38 car, and it looks like Joe Olenek's team, uh, Team CTR, did uh, 
looked like they may have taken tires on that stop, but they took quite a bit of time fueling it. Now, Melrose back in the race there, car number 70. Oh, no! Oh, just as I had called that one, then he was back in the race. Smacks the wall coming off three, and um, that's, that is a lot of damage to the left side of that car, so I have a feeling uh, that's that could uh, Melrose car, that car finally could be uh, with that, but, uh, uh, well, put him out of the race as Axel Anderson hits the four car. Uh, car number four. Uh, he's on his way to locking up the title today as Darren Cardell throwing the dice, trying to stay out a little bit longer. And um, we'll see if he can make it the whole way on fuel without with one less pit stop. Car number 87, uh, Darren Cardell. Uh, that uh, the Tremwell there not had the most luck this year, as I mentioned already, but having a solid run today, regardless. He's been he's thrown the dice on a couple of occasions this year, yeah, but it just never really uh, turned out uh, for the better for him. Here is the 38 car on the other hand. Oh, we got Bobby Dollar in trouble in the 98 car. I just, he's, they pulled the front end off of that thing already, so it looks like they're gonna uh, retire that car. It's been a rough day for him. Darren Cardell, two laps to go. He's gonna pit the 87 car. That gamble didn't exactly go as, uh, as planned, but, well, Cardell's trying. Can't, you can't fault him for that. Uh, it'd be a lot more boring if someone, uh, if everyone just followed the exact same strategy. So uh, hats off to them for trying that. As we got contact here in the back with Steve Holiday Jr. and Joel Rodriguez. I don't think Holiday Jr. is terribly happy with Rodriguez, but the same, at the same time, uh, he's kind of involved for that. Holiday Jr. has been having, was running inside the top ten. So, uh, anyways, back on, back up front. However, Gerald Johnson is going to run away with this one. Uh, a much shorter race than expected, considering the uh, the conditions out here. But car number 38. Uh, Gerald Johnson takes home the win with Joe Lennick in second, Axel Anderson coming home in third, and that is going to lock up the championship very, very easily because Claire Assier, as I mentioned, really didn't do a whole lot of substance, only coming home 19th, um, and uh, I do believe the last car in the lead lap as well, so miserable day for Assier. But uh, that being said, good runs for Darren Carnell, Buffy Boreanaz, Costas Theodoricus, who desperately needed that. Han Young Sung continues his uh, pretty impressive debut year, I, ha I have to admit, in that 71 car. And Dexter Hamlet surprisingly didn't hit anything. And here's confirmation Axel Andershun is the 2013 TM Lights champion. Claire Aussier, Han Young Sung, Brandon LaRoe, Dexter Hamlet, and everyone else is going to have to squabble over second in the championship. Uh, with that being said, we go a little bit further down. Paul Lyons in car number two, the Black Diamond Racing car, and his teammate Bobby Dollar. Our, uh, we're not quite sure if Paul Lyons is returning to that team next year. He could be going Master Cup racing again. It'd be great to see Lyons back up there. Steve Holiday Jr., Scott Washington also had impressive debut seasons. Final race of the 2013 TM Lights campaign will be at the Decatur Raceway, another companion event with the Master Cup Series.